Instagram and TikTok. It is Lifestyle by Leah. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you are not. Today we're going to be getting ready for a new week and new month and I'm going to take you through the process of how I organize myself because Monday is March 1st and I figured I would share some of my tips with you guys on how I do that. I do have a lot on my plate, so I try to keep myself pretty organized. I have a full-time job. I am a content creator on Instagram and TikTok. Now I'm making YouTube videos. I produce a podcast. I like to prepare my workouts for the month. I like to prepare my dinners for the week, what I'm going to cook for me and my parents because I live at home. It's definitely going to be a big organization video because I got a lot to organize you'll see exactly how I do it so here we go so this is my journal that I write my goals in for the month I have no idea what happened to it it is falling apart but I got it originally as my journal and then I ended up wanting to try a different one out so for some reason I only ever write my goals in this one. So my first thing I usually do is go through my goals for the past month which was February and just kind of reflect like did I accomplish those goals? If so, how did I do that? If I didn't, do I want that to be a goal for next month? Etc. I can read you some of my goals for February. One was to read one book, start a YouTube channel, Hey guys, update my website, uh, work on my ebook, which hasn't happened. I've been really busy. Organize myself and get ahead. <laughs> um, what else? Sell some clothes, which I haven't done yet. Make progress in therapy, which I did. I usually do about 15 goals and number 15 is always smile more. Not to like force positivity, but just ending a goal with like just something positive because I feel like when people even ask the question like where do you see yourself in five years like I want to be happy that is like the goal so that's always number 15. So I finished out my goals for March. I'll share them maybe a few of them next month, but they are complete. Sometimes I'll look at it like halfway through the month. I just like to keep them in the back of my head, like knowing that I've made goals. Up next, I would say is, hmm, coffee. Next I'll do my journals. So. This is the journal I use for journaling. I'll link it in the description. And I like to plan them out just for like the week. Not to get too ahead of myself, but a lot of people ask how I plan out my journal prompts. And I like to think about what I talked about in therapy the week before, what I want to work on with myself. Some days I'll end up just doing a mind dump of some sort. So it really depends, but I will share them on my stories and I'll usually wake up and have that be the first thing I do in the morning. So let's get to it. Also, when it comes to organizing my journal prompts, the first question is always, how are you feeling today? And the last one is always, what do you want to accomplish today? I feel like you should be having a good relationship with yourself, making sure you're aware of how you're feeling. So that's usually the first thing I ask myself. And then to keep myself organized in terms of like all of this process and journaling, they go hand in hand with what do you want to accomplish today? So it's just kind of like getting your mind ready for the day, your to-do list, whatever it is. Monday to Thursday journals and a Friday mind dump. Um, that will be for the first week of March. They are complete. 
I will put those on my story if you want to see them and use them for yourself. Next up, we are going to organize my planner. So I use my passion planner and I'm going to organize and color, coordinate some shit in here and show you what I do for the week and how I organize myself with all the things on my plate. You can fill in your own dates at the top, weekly focus, whatever you want to have here, personal and work to-do list, and a whole space. This is all complete. Basically, I did my workouts in blue. I did my podcast stuff in a dark green, um, Instagram stuff in a light green, personal like life stuff in red, work stuff in orange, and dinner plans in pink. Oh, and YouTube in light blue. So I like to keep myself organized like this so I can see everything for the week. I also have a calendar on my computer for work. So that's helpful because it sends me notifications in terms of work stuff. I also did like a little to-do list which has a lot of the stuff that's in the week just like down here so I can quickly look at it just like personal preference. In terms of YouTube, like I want to film a video this week and have it up on Sunday. I have to edit next Monday's podcast and I like to finish that before the weekend so I have my weekend to myself. Therapies in here we're starting to paint our house so that's in here so it's really a mix of all kinds of things so that is all set and now on to how I choose my menu for the week Sundays I usually go food shopping um, so when this goes up I will probably be out at the grocery store for the recipes for the week a lot of you guys ask how I plan out my menu and I usually have this idea of types of meals. My family eats a lot of different kinds of foods. We like to have like one Italian base, like maybe a pasta dish. We like to do Mexican like one day, maybe a Mediterranean dish, like basing it around types of food and then kind of coming up with an idea in my head. I didn't get to do my cauliflower set like sweet and sour cauliflower this week, so maybe I'll push that to next week. So let's figure out what we're going to make. Like I said, I feel like I would want to do the cauliflower since I didn't get to do that. We got lobster and crab from my neighbor, so I was going to do like a lobster pasta of some sort. So that could be a good idea too. So I'll write down a bunch of ideas and then I usually like talk to my parents about them and see what they want to do. I'll put the sweet and sour cauliflower on there. Um, I've been craving a burrito, so maybe we'll do some kind of burrito, like a vegetarian burrito. That could be fun. I've been craving a burrito, so like, F it, like, let's make a burrito, I don't know. It just is whatever comes to mind, or if I see something, I'm like, oh, I want to remake that with, like, my own twist. Maybe I'll do, like, a, I'll write panini or burger, like, maybe a turkey burger. I usually put down, like, six or seven ideas and like we usually end up having like five maybe four for the week depending on like what's going on sometimes we'll order in last minute so i just like come up with ideas and whatever we don't have this week i push to next week kind of like i did with the cauliflower and the pasta maybe i'll do salmon and veggies sometimes it's actually stressful because i'm like what do i want what am i going to be craving like this week i have no idea i don't even know what i want for lunch today so oh i'm gonna remake the shakshuka i made my dad really likes that and he's been complaining that i don't remake my recipes enough even though they're really good so we did it my handwriting is really a mess today i'm not feeling it i don't know if anyone else does this but i was talking about it whoa i was talking about it with um, Alana, 
Lanny B. Fit on the podcast talking about how we take other people's handwriting. You ever like copy someone else's because you just don't like your own? So that's kind of what's happening right now. I'm not a fan of my own handwriting, but I feel like I don't see enough people's handwriting every day to find a new one. Unlike when you were like in school and you were constantly seeing other people's handwriting, but I'm sorry, not the neatest right now. Not really vibing with it. <laughs> but this is the final product of what it looks like. Not too shabby, pretty organized. There'll be more stuff that comes in, like last minute meetings for work and everything. So that's it. On to the next. We finished my planner, my goals, and my journals. My journal prompts. Next up is my workouts. I have a workout split for the week that I like to do. Basically, here it is. I like to do Monday, a lower body, Tuesday, upper body, with certain focuses for each one. Um, Wednesday, lower body, Thursday, upper body, and Friday, core or full body, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I don't like to go all like a full workout on Fridays. I've been making my own workouts. I started that, I guess in January, but I did the whole month of February and was sharing them on my page and I'm going to do it again for March. So that is what I do. I usually write it in like my Google Docs and export it as a PDF so I can just have it on my phone and look at it. And I'll probably take some ideas from February, like mix them up, find, like have some new workouts, I like mash up a few of them, get some ideas. I've said a bunch of times to people who DM me, I'm not a professional in any way. So I have no professional license or whatnot in fitness, in health. I'm not a doctor. I work in fashion. So anything in terms of like tips, advice, or just like anything is just what has worked for me. These workouts are just like what I enjoy doing. So let's start getting the workout set up for the month. I have really bad posture. I need to work on that. It's a problem. Alright, so I think I finished my workouts for the month. That took a little bit longer than I expected and I'm tired. <laughs> I think it is complete. Here's a little preview. Um, got them all set up here. So that is the workouts for the month. We are set for that. So check that off the list. Basically, in terms of organizing myself for the upcoming week, this is what I do. I showed you that I organized my planner and I organized my journal prompts also. And I have a to-do list for the week and I also set up all of my meal ideas. I have that set and usually, like I said, on Sundays I'll food shop for that. And that is pretty much it for the week preparation. And then I showed you for the month. I set my goals up for the month. I also have a list of YouTube ideas for videos that you guys have sent in, some that I also want to do. So I don't have a plan as to what's going to be when, but it just gives me some ideas moving forward so I'm not like last minute prepping for a video or something like that. I also prepared my workouts for the month. I also have been working on getting ahead of myself in the podcast editing. I didn't really touch upon that. So on Monday, there will be another podcast episode coming out. It comes out every Monday on at seven o'clock. So on Monday the 1st, it'll be an episode with me and Lanny. And then the following three weeks, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th, oh, four weeks. There's four Mondays in March. The following four will be her with um, other people. She already has pre-recorded, I believe, one or two. I'll probably get ahead of myself with that. That's been really helpful for me. So I don't have to stress about it like last minute or be working on it late hours or anything. 
And then I wanted to go over some tips. So as you guys saw, I feel like all of the things that I put in place for myself could be beneficial for you guys. Maybe you're a student, um, maybe your job is different, whatever the situation is, there are still things you can put in place similar to what I've done. So I do feel like organizing yourself for the next week, whether it's on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday is incredibly helpful. I love having my planner set. I like having my meals prepared for the week. I think if you're in college or you're living alone somewhere, that's a really good thing, especially with saving money, like having an idea of what you want to make and then food shopping for that. And then I think having a to-do list is such a good idea. Like I make one every day for the whole day and then I make one usually for the week or for the weekend. I find that has been so helpful for me. And also like if you're journaling, I think planning them out ahead of time is always a great idea. Girls who I'm friends with who make journal prompts also that you can either buy or use from their Instagram and I find them to be amazing. Definitely check them out. So the first one is Lanny B. Fit. She is the star of Morning Ray. She is whose podcast I produce. She posts a lot of journal prompts at the beginning of the week for the whole week. Sophia Amato also posts a lot of journal prompts and those are great options as well as Lifestyle with Kath. Absolutely love hers. I've gotten her 100 day journal prompts and they're amazing. So I definitely suggest those if you are interested in journaling or you're running out of ideas for your journal prompts, whatever it is, great options. And they're great to have so that you can prep yourself for the week. I also really suggest making goals for the week, for the month. I think that's been a game changer for me and I started doing it, I believe in October. Yeah, I started it in October and it's honestly been such a good thing for me. I love looking at them halfway through the month and then going through them when it's about to be a new month and just seeing what I have accomplished, what I want to work on more, what I want to set a new goal for myself based off that previous goal. So I do suggest that as well. Those have been a great thing for me. And same with getting yourself a planner. For the planners and journals, I'll have a bunch of them that I like linked in the description. And same with my pens. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from like a TikTok I made about organizing myself. These are from Amazon. I will also link them down below. I'm obsessed with them. They're great. I think that that's even something that's motivating in terms of organizing yourself. Like get yourself a cool ass journal and a great planner and sick pens and highlighters, whatnot. And get yourself excited to organize yourself too. The other thing I would also suggest going into a new month is budgeting. I made a whole post on this on Instagram actually, and I will link down below what budget I use, what I use when I am home with my parents and saving more money and the budget I used when I lived in the city and what I plan to use when I move back to the city. And that's just a budget if you're living alone and you have an apartment and you're paying rent and utilities and all that kind of stuff. So those have been really helpful. And I also think that looking at your budget before a new month is a great thing to do. Maybe you need to adjust, just review what's on it and what you want to fix or do differently for the new month to save more. Definitely check that out down below and you can adjust it to however you need. That'll be helpful for you guys as well, I think. But that is it. I hope this helped you a little bit, if at all. And you guys can take some ideas. Definitely work to organize yourself for this month. And definitely comment down below what tips you guys are using, what habits you're implementing. And I want to know what you guys are doing for this new month. Are you journaling? Are you going to be working out? Are you going to be doing yoga, meditation? Are you going to have to-do lists? Like, what's your plan for the month? Do you have a planner? What's your favorite planner? Leave them in the comments. I do want to know what you like to do in terms of organizing yourself. So definitely let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My name is Lifestyle by Leah. And I'll see you guys next week. If not earlier, who knows? I've been a little bit wild with the posting lately. Definitely got a little excited now that I'm on YouTube. So let's get organized for the new month. Happy March, guys. I'll see you soon.